everybody and welcome back to Oba Lord Comedy. Thank you so much to everybody who have subscribed and clicked my previous videos and liked them. It's been amazing. I did recently upload a types of video so this is going to be another types of video, okay? So as some of you may know or may not know, I don't know, yeah? But some of you might know this from TikTok world and some of you might know this from Instagram world that I used to be a nurse. I first worked with adults who just went in for like normal surgeries and things like that but then I moved into more the disability sector because I felt that that was more rewarding and it just made me feel more happy helping those people who are little you know who are less able and this is where this video comes in okay in this video we will be talking about types of patients now just a disclaimer I am not gonna name any names or any locations or anything like that so you know don't go bashing anyone or anything like that okay i'm just going to talk about random stuff that has happened to me but again i'm not going to name any names or anything like that okay so being a nurse was such a rewarding experience for me it was it's just amazing but obviously we did get the funny stories here and there with me and some of the other nurses so some of these stories it has happened with other nurses and some of them happened with me most of them happened with me because maybe i don't know i'm just i kind of give out that vibe i don't know I don't know but let's see okay so number one is the put a ring on it put a ring on it put a ring on it okay okay you get the drift yeah this patient would always call you specifically they wouldn't want to talk to any other nurses or anyone else they only want to talk to you and why do you think that is because they didn't see any rings on your finger so what do they want to do they want to get you married to their son or their bloody nephew that's what they want to do they will call you all the time tell about all of their stories of how their son goes to the mountains and does great for the poverty and all that stuff or their nephew have his rich and handsome and famous and all the good stuff why because they want to get you married but they don't realize that most nurses they are married but they're just not allowed to wear the ring because of in you know infection control and all that stuff so most nurses and obviously they don't want to lose the ring you know because their husband is gonna kill them when they go home so most patients would think maybe she's single maybe she's looking and god damn that nurse is gorgeous so i'm gonna get her for my son or even my nephew <laughs> Why they used to think that it is amazing and it's okay to do this is beyond me. But they would call you specifically, they buzz you, they, they do the like pss, buzzer thing. And they call you and they'd be like, how was your day? How have you been doing? Did you eat breakfast? No, that's my job. I'm supposed to ask you these questions. Why are you doing my job for me, huh? It's not fair. Don't do this bloody thing for me, okay? You don't need to ask me these things. Just say good morning. It's fine. I don't mind. You don't need to ask these stupid questions to me, okay? I am fine. I got other patients to bloody look after, not just you, Mother Teresa. And then for whatever reason, if this nurse is busy, like in the bathroom or gone for a break, and another nurse takes over for that 15-minute break, the patient's like, no, I want the pretty looking one. I want the pretty looking one. What is her name? How old is she? Does she have any bloody diseases? Come on get your act together and sometimes even these patients before they leave they would like hint at you so what's your number can i get your number why not for them for their son or their bloody nephew why because they are available they are available in the market but guess what i am not available i am taken i am married don't talk to me i just want to come here and do my bloody work and then get paid of course i'm not gonna do it for free you can't just do this to me this is like harassment but nice harass but i mean i appreciate it i appreciate the compliments and i appreciate that you want me getting married but girl please control yourself number two the loose motioners uh, because you know they, they always go to the toilet and like it's coming down their leg and you get it you get it so these patients always want to spend their time in the toilet you never find them in their bloody bed they are never in their bed they're always in the toilet doing something either on their phone or they're doing something maybe illegal maybe drugs even if they want to take a bath they take like three hours what what are not bloody free in the bloody hospital we still need to pay okay go home and do your bloody bath and take those long showers why are you bloody taking in the bloody hospital you don't know hospital got bills to pay what the problem man and then they always order food that's gonna make them 
go. You know what I mean? When the nurses have already said, don't have that. Don't eat that. It's not good for you. But still, they will order the stuff that will make them go. Or the digestive system cannot take their food because they cannot handle the spices. Why are you ordering food that's going to make you go to the toilet 25 times a day, 7 days a week when there's only 24 hours in a day? Huh? Why you do this? And leaving the toilet shitty? Huh? You're doing this on purpose, isn't it? You're doing this on purpose so that we can go and clean up your bloody shit. Literally. What's your problem, eh? You can't clean it yourself? You're stupid. And then the, when they leave the bathroom, you go in the bathroom to check and oh my god days there was a bomb in there wasn't there it stinks it smells so bad but you just you you just can't do anything about it nurses cannot do anything about it all you can do is smile thank you for that present no please clean yourself up properly if you know you leave atom bombs behind you please when you go to the bathroom, take a bloody perfume with you or a bloody room spray or something. If you don't have one, request it from us. We will gladly give one to you. Seriously, we will gladly give one to you because we don't want the next person coming to the bloody reception and saying, Madam, your toilet smells like shit. We don't want that. We are tired of hearing stuff like this. Please clean up after yourself. Thank you very much. And at number three, we have the drama queens. <laughs> These people will exaggerate everything. And I mean everything. From the time they fell down on the floor, from their time they broke their nail. They will exaggerate every pain, every woe, every scream, every little bruise. People are coming in a &E with heart attacks brain strokes, hemorrhages, cancer, bone dislocation and what does this Karen have? A broken nail. Yes, that's what she came in for. I'm not joking. This drama queen will talk about everything. How it happened, where it happened, why it happened. I mean, we just need to know the simple details, you know. When, where, how. When, in bed, how you fell off. What happened, you lo dislocated your knee. Done. That's all we need to know. Not what bed sheets you had on, what were you doing in bed, what time it was. We don't need to know all that. We don't need to know the height of the bed so we can calculate the distance from top to bottom and how long it took you to fall down the bloody on the floor. We don't need to know that. So you don't need to tell us. So please leave the details at home. And then there will be other drama queens just crying over little bruises. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Get me a plaster. Get me a caster. Get me anything. But I'm bleeding. It's a scratch. It's like a cat scratched you. That's it. That's probably what happened anyway. That's probably what happened and you don't even realize it because you're in your own world. It doesn't make any sense. The story that you even say, it doesn't even make any sense. I mean, you fell off the bed and you scratched a little bit. You just a little bit of scratch. Just scratch like a cat scratch. Or even if you have a child, maybe that child scratched it and you say, oh, you broke down on your bloody floor you fell off the bloody bed or you jumped off the bloody empire state building or something i don't know but something simple happened but you will make it a big fat hollywood story you think you're going for the bafters you think you're going for the awards or something no we don't need to know the details we don't need to know your bloody story we don't need to you know your bloody generation geography and history we don't need to know all of this just tell us how it happened and that's it. That's all we need to know. How it happened and where is the pain. That's pretty much it. That's all we need to know. We don't need to know every single bloody detail. Uh, thank you very much. And that's it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It was very, very um, close to my heart. <laughs> But I hope you have enjoyed this video, okay? If you have not already, then please uh, click the subscribe button, okay? And subscribe to the channel because it makes me all happy, happy, happy inside. And click that notification bell, okay? For future video updates, okay? And also, if you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you like the thumbs up, okay? You click the thumbs up.
thumbs up it will help my video with the algorithm with the youtube and everything is amazing i love you guys thank you so much for your support please do click one of the videos on the screen right now because they should be popping up somewhere here and there click on them and keep on enjoying the content that i give to you okay oh and another thing if you have another idea of another types of video just write it in the comment section and i will do it for you okay and i will see you in the next video bye guys Mwah.